I am Dr Nick Lipscomb, paediatric consultant and part of the diabetes team for children in Fermanagh and Omer. During these unprecedented times, we want to follow the government message of staying at home and staying safe. However, we also want you to know that the NHS is still here for you, for your children and all their illnesses. As part of the paediatric diabetes team, we want to raise awareness of the signs and symptoms of type 1 diabetes. We don't want you delaying seeking help if your child shows any of the early signs of type 1 diabetes. These are the four T's. Hi, Joanne McFarland, the paediatric diabetes nurse that works along with Dr. Lipscomb and Damon McHugh in the Fermanagh and Oma area. The four T's. Toilet. You may find them going to the toilet a lot more and perhaps bedwetting when they were previously dry child. In a baby, you may find that the nappies may be a lot heavier than before. Thirsty. Being really thirsty at all times and not being able to quench the thirst. Tired, feeling more tired than usual. Thinner, losing weight or looking thinner than they previously did. By making sure children and young people get a quick diagnosis and early treatment, we can avoid them becoming seriously ill with diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. Hi, my name is Damien McHugh. I am one of the paediatric diabetes specialist nurses in the Fermanagh and Oma area. So what can you do if your child shows signs of those four T's that we've been talking about? If your child does show signs and symptoms, you should take them straight away to your doctor. A test for type 1 diabetes is a quick and simple finger prick blood test, which your GP is able to do. If the result indicates type 1 diabetes, then your GP should arrange for your child to be seen by a specialist paediatric diabetes team the same day in the hospital where they will get immediate treatment to bring their diabetes under control and to prevent the development of DKA. Every year, 500 children in the UK become seriously unwell with DKA, a complication of diabetes. We want to highlight the early signs and symptoms of DKA, which in addition to the four T's are feeling or being sick, having a sweet or fruity smell on the breath like nail polish remover or pear drop sweets, stomach pain, blurred vision, confusion, or passing out. If you notice these signs developing, you need to get in touch with medical help urgently. What can you do to avoid DKA? You can avoid DKA by monitoring your blood sugar levels regularly and altering your insulin dose in response to your blood sugar level. Your blood sugar levels could well be higher than normal when you're unwell. You should always follow the sick day rules. Never stop taking your insulin. You may need to make adjustments depending on your blood sugar levels, but again, never stop taking your insulin. Monitor the blood sugar levels more often, even approximately every two hours, even through the night. Check for blood ketone levels at regular intervals and contact your diabetes team for advice, if at all worried. It is still a good idea to contact your diabetes team. If you feel okay, but you're getting higher than usual readings for blood glucose, i.e. persistently high blood sugars above 14. Or if your blood ketones are greater than one, even if you feel fine. Or alternately, if you feel unwell, but your blood glucose and ketone levels are only slightly higher than normal. On those circumstances, you should contact your diabetes team. We want you all to stay home and stay safe during these times. But we also want you to stay well, so please don't wait too long before you seek advice.